Question is to the Premier. Speaker, today OSSTF released findings from its study on violence in the workplace, findings that echo earlier and equally shocking results from ETFO. 41 per cent of OSSTF members reported an increase in violent incidents in their schools over the last five years. None said that violence is decreasing. Yet in this context of rising violence, four out of five OSSTF members were either unaware of or unable to access violence reporting forms, and more than half said that they are often pressured not to report a violent incident. Speaker, after five years, the situation is worsening, not improving. What will it take for this government to show education workers that it is serious about protecting education worker health and safety? Thank you, Speaker, and I want to thank the member opposite, uh, who is uh, the critic for education, for this very important question. Um, Mr. Speaker, under no circumstances are, is violence acceptable in our schools. We want our schools to be safe and healthy places for students, for teachers, for education workers, and uh, and that's something that uh, that we want to make very very clear, um, Mr. Speaker. I've uh, I've met with the um, the membership of OSSTF, and I've, I've been very very clear with them that I recognize that we have to take this very seriously. The concerns around reporting that uh, that the member opposite asked, uh, I am concerned about that. We want to ensure we create a culture in our schools that promotes safety yes, and. Uh, and that's what we're working towards and working together with OSSTF on that. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, the numbers from OSSTF and ETFO are alarming and provide an urgent call to action, action that is needed across ministries, including education, labour, health and children and youth services. OSSTF reports that, at least, that in at least one classroom per board per day, a student is removed due to a violent out outburst. The mental health needs of both students and education workers are being ignored, putting young people and education workers at risk. Yet 25 school boards are receiving $8 million less funding in special education grants, wow. and school staff with specialized mental health training, like psychologists and social workers, are being cut. Speaker, how does the Premier plan to make schools safer when she won't even provide the basic supports that students need to succeed? Mr. Speaker, um, we are working with all of our partners in education. We have a provincial health and safety working group that is strengthening the culture of training and access to information to staff on violence prevention, Mr. Speaker. Uh, for example, we have des designated one half of a PA day. Finish, please. Mr. Speaker, we have designated one half of a PA day for our elementary teachers this past year for health and safety training. We've also added new mandatory content on supporting students with special needs in the enhanced four-semester teacher education program. Mr. Speaker, here's what we're investing in special education. We've increased our investments by 70 percent, Mr. Speaker, to $2.7 billion. We have increased the number of education assistants by 6,300, Mr. Mr. Speaker, we know that Answer. there is more that we need to do on this issue, and that's why we're working together across all aspects of the sector, including with the Minister of Labour, to focus on this issue. Thank you. Your question.